Going to get some more on the situation in Somalia now. We understand at least 20 people have been killed, but also a number of attackers, according to government officials, have been killed as well or have died in the course of these coordinated attacks. Uh, Andres Ilvers is the editor of the BBC Somali service and he joins me now from Nairobi. Andres, perhaps you could just fill us in on the latest. Yes. Um, well, it's been a difficult day today, uh, a series of attacks, as you mentioned, both in the main courthouse uh, complex in downtown Mogadishu, but also uh, not long ago, there was another attack in which it seems that some militants rammed a vehicle and killed at least four people on the airport road in Mogadishu. So at least two separate coordinated attacks. It certainly sounds like mayhem and terrifying for those caught up in this. I presume everyone's pointing the fingers, the fingers at Al-Shabaab. Yes, in fact, Al-Shabaab has actually just uh, claimed responsibility for these attacks. And it's, it's worth noting that today in uh, Somalia, Sunday is actually a normal work day. So the courts were in full operation. And among those who were killed in the court attacks, in which it seems that a number of people went in and uh, some of them shooting guns, firing guns, some of them detonating themselves. Among the dead are actually two lawyers who were involved in some high-profile cases recently. You may recall that actually uh, there were some cases in which uh, some journalists were being charged with uh, reporting negatively about events in Somalia and so on. So two lawyers involved in that case are now dead. Right. As we see uh, explosions in the center of Mogadishu again, we were talking, what, 24 hours ago, weren't we, about the IMF proffering its support to the new government there. Uh, what does this tell us yes. about the levels of fragility that honestly really exist for that government? Well, I think it does underscore that actually the systems are increasingly in place, governmental assistance and recognition, as you mentioned, IMF, uh, recognition and so on but on the ground I'm sure this is the intent of, of these attacks is to show that actually not everything is in fact under control. Andres for now thank you very much indeed Andres Ilves uh, 